what is the one piece of advice you would give someone here today that aspires to be in your position? Robert, I'm gonna start with you. I think to have that vulnerability to be a leader, you have to be open, you have to have self-awareness uh, to be able to improve. We wanna be the best that we can be. What is the one piece of advice you will get someone who aspires to be in your position one day? I would state that you have to have thick skin and resiliency. Um, do not take things personally. Um, there's a Q-tip. Um, quit taking it personal. Q-tip. You want to write that down. Q-tip. Quit taking it personally. Stick it. Be approachable and also um, be open to compromise. Um, a lot of times, um, dealing with the things that we have to deal with, you have to be open to compromise in order to accomplish what needs to be accomplished. You never have to jeopardize your moral beliefs, but also at the same time, life is about compromises. You think about in the business world, your marriage, it's all about compromising to be successful. It's not my way or no way, but what is the best way? Um, and letting, letting people know that it's okay to make a mistake. The first time is a mistake. As I told my children, the first time is a mistake. The second time is a choice. And so then you have to live with what that decision is. You made a choice the second time. But let your employees know, keep them accountable, but also let them know that it's okay that you can approach me and have this comfor comfortable and hard discussion. But at the end of the day, if they know they're in a safe environment, then they, they can be very productive. And I, w I will say along with that, um, no one's perfect. But as long as you have a team that feels like they're safe, you would not believe the productivity that you will create as an organization, a tribe, any type of business entity. Thank you.